Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 77. For the episode ahead, a couple of things I want to achieve. Definitely going to hit 99 woodcutting in this episode. I'm going to gun for 2200 total level as well. Other than that, we'll probably be doing some Slayer. I've actually got a Vorkath boss task at the moment for 35 kills, so we'll see if we get anything from that. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the episode. There we go, that is the Vorkath task completed. Again, see if I can get a back-to-back -back boss task with the Slayer Cape perk. It's only a 10% chance, I think, to get that, but it's definitely worth doing every time, just on the off chance that I can get another one straight away. It's always worth doing. Um, the thing is with these boss tasks, it's not necessarily going to give me Vorkath back-to-back. -back. It could just be any from the pool of boss tasks. Let's see what it offers. Ah, Scorpia. To be fair, I do need that final shard to make the Malediction Ward, so I'll go for the full 35. There we go, that is the Scorpio task done. I think I'll stay for two more kills just to round it up to a nice even 200 KC. Interesting, an Abbey Demon task. I actually quite fancy going back to Sire and seeing if I can pick up any more of the bludgeon pieces. I've done, I think, just over 200 Sire kills overall. I've had two unsired and just one of the bludgeon pieces. It's not the most useful weapon, but if I ever decide to go and do the Nightmare, it'll be handy there. and It'd be cool to finish off, so I might do a few side kills. There it is, an Unsired. See what we can get from it. I'm actually really enjoying this boss. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the changes they've made. It seems a lot smoother um, and more consistent than I remember it. It might be the gear that I'm using, but um, I may end up doing the whole task. But first, let's go and see what we can get from this. Hopefully another bludgeon piece. All right, into the pool it goes. What can we get? Oh, man. That's unlucky. That's my second dagger from Unsired. So I've had three Unsireds now, one bludgeon piece and two daggers. That's pretty rough. Another Unsired. I'm getting quite lucky with these. I think that is my fourth one in 275kc. Can we get a bludgeon piece? Okay, here we go. Yes! Two out of three pieces for the bludgeon. Wonder what KCI will end up finishing it up on. Sire was kind enough to drop me an elite clue. What can we get? 94 elite clues done. All right, I'm gonna finish there. That is 340 KC, which means I've done just over 100 Sire kills this task. I'm gonna finish this up at regular Abyssal Demons. Um, but yeah, really pleased to get two Unsired and my second bludgeon piece. And who knows, if I get another task before the end of the episode, maybe I'll come back for a few more kills. Sammy Fulhelm. I need that for a master clue, I think. I'm pretty sure I don't have one. Nice. That's a really good item to get. Took me a while to register that, but uh, yeah, that's another master clue step I can actually do now. Man, that is another Drake's Claw. I honestly can't even remember how many of these I've had. I'm looking for the Tooth so that I can upgrade my Holy Sandals into Devout Boots. Um, this could be my fourth or even my fifth one of these. Um, it's the same drop rate for either of the two items, so <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit unlucky. In case you were curious, I've killed 1,272 Drakes. The drop rate for either the Tooth or the Claw is one in 512 and this is my fifth pair of the boots of brimstone which um, is pretty ridiculous two clues from woodcutting hard and an elite what can we get Ooh, i think i've already got these but that's uh, a nice one mil clue nearly and a master let's see if we can do it okay what can we get 468k, 40 masters done. Decided to finish up the last few hundred k of wood cutting XP to 99 at the Sulia Seps, and if I just cut this final one, that is 99 wood cutting. Not the most exciting or useful 99, but a nice one to get out of the way regardless. I picked up a bunch of fossils from doing this, um, so I'm just going to head over to the Barrack Museum and see if I can get any XP lamps for handing those in. Um, but yeah, three levels off 2200 total level as well. All right, these are all the XP lamps that I got off 99 wood cutting, 20 kudos 
away from finishing the museum so I might come back and do that at some point. Going to use these all on runecrafting, I'll set up a counter and see how much I get. I really have no idea, a lot of these are small uh, XP lamps so it's not going to be too much. Well 40k XP in the end, that's not too bad, that's about an hour's worth of blood runecrafting saved so I'll take it. So I was looking at skills I wanted to potentially train to get these last three levels and fire making seems to be the quickest one so I will get up to 98 for 2200 and I'll probably just get the extra level and go all the way to 99. And the first level coming in that is 96 and that is 97. Hey there we go that is the last piece of the pyromancer kit that I needed. Um, I was hoping to get that on the way to 99 just because then I can put it in my house after I'm done with fire making and uh, it'll save a few bank spaces which is pretty nice. There we go, that is 98 fire making and 2200 total level. Probably one of the last significant milestones on the way to maxing to be honest. I guess 2250 would be uh, the penultimate milestone before actually maxing. Um, I don't have any plans uh, <laughs> to get all 99s to be honest, it's too much of a time sink. Um, but it's very nice to hit this level and we will uh, continue on to 99 fire making. Well, it is not very often that I get to bring you two 99s in one episode, so just need to light these redwood logs and we will have 99 fire making. Very nice indeed. Not really too much to say about 99 fire making that hasn't already been said. Most iron men have this level and most iron men probably get it as their first 99 these days to be honest. Um, it's taken me over 2200 total level to get it but a nice one to knock out of the way, certainly. Just getting some KC for a Zami trip, I've got a task of greater demons and I accidentally tagged a spiritual mage, so an extra pair of dragon boots, very nice. All right, well that is 1400 kills here at Zami God Wars, probably gonna aim for another 50 this task. I usually try to do between 50 to 100 boss kills, depending on how many I feel like doing, basically. Um, and that will take me up to rank 40 in the Iron Man high scores for Krill kills, I think. Well, there is a unique esteem battle staff, probably, well, not probably, definitely the worst of the lot. Um, yeah, 1439kc. All right, there we go, 1450 total kills at Zami God Wars. Still no hilt. Uh, maybe I'll do another 50 kills or so next episode. Facial recognition got a hit. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Well, that is yet another Drake's Claw, possibly number six now. Just looking for the two so I can upgrade my holy sandals into the devout boots. Yes, oh, there it is at long last. I really want to see how many of these I've killed. Um, I think it might be near a thousand. I, I'm not even sure if it's that much, but um, very pleased to get that. I think I'll probably still do the tasks. They're pretty AFK. Um, I do come here with my anti-dragon shield and anti-fire potions. I know you can avoid the uh, dragon fire mechanic, but yeah, they're pretty AFK and they got some okay drops. So it turns out I have killed a lot more drakes than I thought, 1,354. And we're going to upgrade the holy sandals. So these give just a plus three prayer boost. But if I use the tooth on them, that will turn into plus five, which is pretty nice. And I think they look really, really cool. Probably my favorite boots in the game. Uh, thinking of places where I might use these, probably DKs. I think having um, a plus five prayer boost there would be handy from the boots. And um, yeah, nice to knock that one out. Well, that is a second Drake's Tooth. That's actually unfortunate because that means I'm gonna have to lose a bank space to keep that. I don't have any more holy sandals to attach this to. Um, and I don't plan on doing any medium clues in the hope of getting another pair. So yeah, well, nice to see another one so soon, I guess. Ooh, that is my third Dehyde Shield and that is another unique one. So I've got the Guthics, the Ancient One and an Armadillo Shield now, pretty cool. And that is it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Really pleased to have reached 99 in two skills this episode and 2200 total level as well. I've been thinking about my next 99 and as I see it, there are two realistic options for me. The first would be 99 construction as I have all of the logs banked already and we just need to turn them into planks. 
This would be quite a handy one to have as the cape is pretty useful. The other option, uh, rather surprisingly, is actually 99 prayer. Um, I have 98 already banked, as it turns out, in bones and in sold heads, so I would just need the equivalent of a further sort of 2,400 dragon bones to be able to reach 99. Um, I guess I could either do that through like Vorkath or Camping Dragons, haven't quite decided, but I'd be curious to hear what you guys think, so let me know in the comments which one you think I should go for. If you enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like, and if you don't want to miss the next one, then make sure you subscribe as well. I hope to see you all in time for the next episode, and until then, take care.